Lights out for the devil and Mr. O. It is later than you think. Turn out your lights now. We bring you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly so that if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly but sincerely to turn off your radio now. This is Mr. O. R. Jobler. Some of you may not know this, but beneath many of our cities there's a subworld, not only of subways, but sub-sub basements and man-made caverns where little trains run and deliver the goods to the department stores and the factories of our industrial complex. Today we're going to some of those sub-sub basements in a play I've written for you titled Going Down, all beginning after this top-of-the-world message. Gramercy Park Close of 64 West 23rd Street in New York says... If you think food prices are high, wait till you go out to buy a suit. The price of wool, the devaluation, the union contract, you can get priced out of the market. But you don't have to give up wearing the good clothes you're used to. Just give up the place you've been buying them at. After 78 years of manufacturing men's clothing to sell wholesale, Gramercy Park will show you a new and better way to buy men's clothing. Magnificent suits, coats, sport coats, and slacks. Come up to Gramercy Park's loft on the third floor of the factory building at 64 West 23rd Street. Ask Rosie with the cigar or Flatbush Phil to give you a style show. There's no obligation and credit cards are okay. Gramercy Park is open to 7, Saturday to 6, and on Sunday from 10 to 4. Gramercy Park close, 64 West 23rd Street, New York. And now, if you haven't already done so, turn off your lights now. But of course I can run an elevator. I was just asking. And I told you. Well, here we are. Are you getting out? I suppose so. Suppose so. For ten years, that's all I've heard. Where do you work? What do you do? Why don't you let me see you? Don't get angry. Oh, I'm not angry. I'm just telling you. Come on, this way. Such a big basement. You don't know the half of it. It's like a whole city down here. A person goes to a department store and doesn't know all this is underneath. Say that again. And... You're in charge of everything down here? That's another fact. Here. Look at these. What are they? Furnaces? Oil burning. Heat and air conditions, the whole building up above. 20 stories. Well, where is everybody? Nothing but a watchman at this hour of the night. Everything's shut down. Help! What's the matter with you? Nothing. What did you do that for? Oh, I... I, I just wanted to hear my voice. It, it, it's like a big cave down here. Going out like that. Won't you ever grow up? Don't be angry, Arnie. Oh, all right, come on. Yes, Arnie. Come on, in here. Another elevator? Well, you want to see everything, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Down some more? Yeah. Another basement. 
Yeah. Go ahead. Plenty of light to see behind. What's down here? Come on over here. I'll I'll show you. There, in the wall. Is it a a tunnel? That's what it is. But but a tunnel down here? See those tracks? Yes. Where do they go? How do you think all the merchandise is brought to all the stores here in the business section? Tunnel system, that's how. Right under the city streets. I had no idea. Mighty few people have. Trains run on those tracks, bring the stuff right in. Trains? Oh, Arnie. You think all I've got to do is make jokes? You think the only kind of a train's a big one? Well, I just don't know. These are little ones. They run on electric batteries, just like they have down in the mines. Come on, I'll show you. Where? In the tunnel. But it's so dark. There are lights every little ways. Come on. Ah. I don't think so. What's the matter with you? I'm afraid. Oh, for John's sake. For years you've pestered me and pestered me to see... You come along, Emma, you understand? All right. Arnie, the... This is far enough. Oh, for John's sake. What's the matter with you now? I don't know. Come on, there's a... One of the little engines parked down at the end of the tunnel. You might as well see it. Well, keep walking. Uh, I think I'd like down to... Down this way, you'll see the train. Yes, but Arnie, the light... Honey, where are you? Right here. What's the matter? Matter? Oh, why are you standing so close to me? I'm your husband. Oh, Arnie, don't be silly. Emma? I'm going to tell you something. Honey, what's the matter with Listen you? Listen to me for the last time. Last time? Honey, what's the matter with you? Do you know that you can't get out of here? What? You can't get out of here. Honey, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, oh honey. You haven't made a joke like that in years. <laughs> the last time you tried to scare me was right after we were married. Remember? With that fur piece you made off was a dead animal that had gotten in the bedroom. <laughs> you remember? I remember. Come along further, Emma. Oh, sure. <laughs> as long as I know what you're up to, I don't mind. How far are we going? A long way. All right, Arnie. Anything you say... Don't I know it. All right. All right? What? This is as far as we're going. Oh. I... I feel funny. I've never been under the ground so far in so long. It was very nice of you, Arnie, to take me down here. So interesting. Very nice of you. Arnie... Why don't you say something? Honey, is something the matter? Arnie, oh, really, you can't frighten me. Not now, you know. Honey, are we waiting for someone? If we are, I think I hear him. Hear him? Well, yes, don't you? No. But I heard something. I tell you, there's no one down here. All right. All right, if you say so, Arnie. If I say so, if I say so, if I say so, can't you say something else but that even now? Now? Yes. Emma, I'm going... There, I heard it again. What? Are there trains running this late at night? Trains? If it's a train, you ought to get out of here. Tunnel so now, Arnie, please. Shut come. up. Let me listen. Hear it? Will you shut up? Who's there? Who's there? Isn't there supposed to be anyone? Oh, of course not. I saw to it. Is that you? Is that you, Tom? Who's Tom? Tom, are you down here? One of the watchmen. I told him I'd pull these boxes tonight. I told him. Tom! Hey, Tom! What's wrong? Tom, what's the matter with you? Come on out here. Do you hear me? Come out right away or I'm firing you. Tom! Is, is he playing jokes, too? That fool, I'll break his neck. Get my hands on that. No, Arnie, don't leave me. Arnie, where did you go? Arnie, it's so dark, the tunnel... Honey, where are you? Oh. Arnold, was that you? Arnold, it is 
you? Did you cry out? What? <gasps> Stay back. You. That man. Who? From what's left of his face, I. I think it's Tom. What? What ha. The train ran over him? Arnold, answer me, was it? Train? No. Something's torn out his throat. <gasps> Come on. Got to get out of here. Oh, yes. Something down here. Honey, honey, wait. I can't police. go so fast. Police, I'll get the police. Please, honey, wait for me. Honey, what's the matter? Honey, why are you just standing there? Why don't you open the door? Door wasn't closed before. Well, open it. We leave our The Devil and Mr. O story of going down for a word. See? See the leaf? Right here in my hand. Oh, yes. Isn't that a new leaf? Yes, it is a new leaf. Here. I'm going to turn over a new leaf. <laughs> Get it? Leaf? New? What does that mean, to turn over a new leaf? Well, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. It means that you're going to have a little change. From what to what? From bad to good. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, suppose somebody was crying. They could switch from tears to a smile. Suppose they were lonely. They could go from loneliness to having somebody to play with. Well, suppose somebody wasn't loved. Could they turn over a new leaf? They could go from not loving somebody to loving somebody. How do they do that? All they have to do is try to love somebody. Just try? Yeah. It's easy to love people when you try. Love makes all things new again. Hey, what was that? Another sound of love from the Franciscans. Let's go back to the devil and Mr. O's story of going down. All right. All right. We'll be there in a minute. But are you sure? I tell you, it's an emergency exit. It's always kept open. Why was that so well, Stop asking me that. I don't know. And that watchman? Stop talking, will you? I don't know anything. I. I... Honey, why did you stop talking? And why stop? You said the emergency exit. That's it. What? Behind those timbers. <gasps> it's blocked off. You understand? It's blocked off. Well, what do we do? We can't just stand here. Arnold, that man was killed. There's someone down here, I'm afraid. Oh, Arnold, get me out of here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I've got to think. <laughs> think? Oh. <laughs> Whoever killed Tom, not down here necessarily... <laughs> You don't think so, are Well, you? why should he be? Uh, nothing to steal down here. Tom was always borrowing money from people. Somebody he didn't pay back. Yeah, that's it. But the doors oh. were... Well, he got out and closed the doors. What of it? We can get out. Come on. Where? I told you, these tunnels lead to the buildings all over the business section. Follow the tunnel to the next sub-basement to the next building. We'll get out, that's all. Honey... I'm getting too far ahead of me this oh, time. Well, just walk fast, will you? Yes. Oh, Arnie, I look forward so very much to tonight. It had been so long since you'd even thought about me. I knew that. And tonight, when you called me up and told me to meet you here, and then when you started to play those crazy, scary jokes before, even then I... Then I... Mm. Irma, you see it too? Ah! Oh. Is it after a 
Talk, talk, run. Oh, my side, it's hurting. Oh, that's too bad. Honey, don't leave me behind. Honey, I can't run any fast. Honey, wait. Oh, oh. Honey, oh. honey, what? Oh, honey. Oh, I'm killing oh. Honey, oh. what? Your oh. leg. Broken. It's broken. Oh, honey, come on. Can't. Hold on to me. We'll manage. No, no, I But you can't, can't lie here. That thing. It's, it's coming. I don't know. I can't see it. I, I, I was running a rock under my foot. Arnold, over here, a pile of boxes. What? Hide behind them. If I help you, could you go over yes, there? Yes, hide, hide. Give me your arm. Yes, I will. Oh, come on, dear. Careful. Hold on to me. If you hold my arm tight. Come. Get over there. Come on. I'll help you. Take it easy, That's will it. you? That's it. We're getting there. Back here. There. Oh. Oh, help me down. Yes. Here you are. Oh, honey. There. Oh. 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 We'll be all right. Can you... Can you see it? No. No, it's gone. Oh. Just, just don't, don't think about it, Arnie. Oh. Oh. What was it? Emily, you hear me? What was it? Well, you went to school. You studied things like that. That thing. What was it? Irma, didn't you hear me? Yes. I heard you. What was it? What was it? Was, was it a lizard? Yeah, some kind of a lizard. That's it. it a lizard. Some kind of a lizard. Oh, 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 why, do you, why do you say it that way? I saw it good, Arnie. Well? In school... One of the books, there was an animal like that. Oh, how did it get down here? A lizard that big? Oh, no, you you don't understand. Geology book. The thing wasn't a lizard, exactly. Huh? It was a... dinosaur. Are you crazy? No. I'm telling you what I saw. It sort of sat up on its hind feet. Just like the picture in the book. What are you trying to do? Make me crazy, too? Why, those things died millions of years ago. Arnie, look. Huh? Way down the tunnel. By the light. <gasps> it is a dinosaur. Don't move. Arnie. It is a dinosaur. <laughs> Has it gone away? I don't know. It's been so long. Okay. Just don't move. It just looked at us. Yeah. Why doesn't it come after us? Why? Huh? Maybe... Maybe it didn't see us. What? Well, it was... It was like something that... that it, been in the dark for a long, long time. Yes. Oh. Don't move around. Oh, there's, there's a little room back here. Oh, would you rather go out there? Oh, don't be angry with me, Ernie. Angry? Why should I be angry? Emma. Emma, you went to school. You studied those things. You you, you called it a, a, a... Dinosaur. Yeah. All these hours, I... I've been thinking, how could a thing like that, which was supposed to have passed out of the world so many years ago, how could it be alive now? I don't know. Emma, listen, I know. This tunnel under the business district, they, they were putting on an extension, blasting in the rock. Maybe that thing came out from inside the earth. Maybe. You're... 
You're not frightened, are you? No. Why not? Because I'm with you. If it came back, what could I do for you? It's just being with you. Yeah. I keep thinking... And what? That poor watchman. Yeah, it'll really be something when it's morning and everyone finds out about it. What do you think they'll do? They'll hunt it down. The police will get it soon enough. Arnold. Yeah? Arnold, what if it won't be here then? Huh? It's been hours since we last saw it standing down there. What if it's gone back where it came from? It's all right with me. But what if they're not... They'll hunt it down. They'll find it. Arnold, what's that? It's all right. Everything's all right. But what was... Six o'clock. That was the bell back in the basement. The day engineer turned off one of the sprinkler alarms. Oh. Oh, honey. Come on. Come on, I'll help you. Wait. But you said... Wait. Was... Look. Over there. Back. It's back. Help. 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 Well, they didn't hear us, but it did. It's... It's starting this way. Oh. My leg. Arnie. Oh. How slowly it's moving. As if it... As if we can hardly see... That's it, Emma, that's it. What? It's blind. That thing is blind. It's lived under the earth so long it can't see. But it's still coming this way. Oh, honey, come on. I can't. Hold on to me, Let will you? Let me alone. Go ahead. No, try. I'll carry you. You can't carry I me. I will. Go ahead, Emma. Go ahead, I tell I you. Won't go, go on. Don't stay here. I tell you, go oh, on. Honey, please listen to Why me. Why you stay here with me? I wanted to kill you tonight, you hear me? I brought you down here to kill you. Oh, Arnie, no, you're only I saying you. that. I'm telling you the truth. I brought you down here to kill you. No, Arnie, I'll stay with you. you. I listen to me. You. I brought you down here to kill you. Now, that's the truth. Look at me and believe it because it's the truth. That's why you... That's why I suddenly got so wonderful. I was sick and tired of you. I was sick and tired of living. So I brought you down here to kill you and then kill myself. Arnie. Look at it out there. It's feeling its way along. Well, he'll take care of me, but you, you've got to get out of here, Irma. No. You've got to get out. I deserve to die, but Irma, not you. You're so blasted good. I guess that's why I got tired of you, but that's no reason for you to die. Irma, stop looking at me like that. You've got to get out. Run straight down the tunnel. Keep running and you'll get away. Irma, just don't look at me. Get going. No, Arnold. Why don't you say what you've always said to me all these years? Just as you say, Arnie. Just as you say. Oh, Irma. Irma, will you get out of here? How slowly it moves. Irma. It is blind. Blast you. Look, will you listen to me? Will you go? You've got to go or they'll think I've killed you. No, they won't. They yes, won't. Yes, they will. I left a note back home for the police. I told them I had killed you. If that thing kills you and me, they'll still think I was the one who did it. Now, do you want me to be a murderer? Do you want that? You left a note? Yes, yes. Don't you remember I turned back after you went out the door on the dining room table? Oh, Irma, get out of here and get that note. Don't make them think I killed you and I... I didn't, and I don't want to. You're such a good... You're, you're too good for me. And I was tired, and I, I was crazy. Don't make me a murderer, Irma. Arnie. Goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, Irma. Yes, hurry. Run fast. Straight ahead. He won't get you, I promise. Arnie. Go. All right, you blind thing, you. Here I am. 
Yeah, here I am. Here. I, I, I'm not scared. I, come and get me. This is Mr. O. Arch Obler. Let me tell you about a couple of letters I received from you listeners. One of them asked me the question, uh, Mr. O, do you believe in the sensitives who say they can feel the presence of ghosts in the house? I have a quick answer for that one. Unless that so-called sensitive can materialize the ghost for me in broad daylight? Now, that's the question. Why must the ghost always appear in the dark? As I say, unless the ghost can actually be materialized... I must remain among the skeptics. Extrasensory perception, yes. Ghosts, show me. The second letter asked me about my new book, House on Fire, and do I truly believe in the existence of devils on Earth? Well, it all depends on your definition of the word devil. But I ask you, how else can one explain some of our today's madness? Uh, speaking of devils and deviltry, let's talk about next week's play. The title is one found to the CPAs and the bookkeepers of the world, Balance Sheet. And let's talk about that after a word from your station. On a sun-parched desert. In a humid, tangled jungle. Beneath the stars of a tropical seaport. These are the places that Hopis are found. Hopis, the people of Project Hope, sail to distant ports on a white hospital ship or take up residence in our own Southwest with this common goal, to help others become medically self-sufficient. Project Hope's mission is not treat and run, it's treat and teach. Hopis teach medical skills to professional counterparts who are eager to learn new methods. And they teach willing workers with limited education the skills that help them contribute to the well-being of their own communities. Help hope live on. Contribute to Project Hope, Room A, Washington, D.C. This is Mr. O again. I'm with you. I think that happiness is the most important thing in life. There are other people, of course, who live and die by other values, the balance sheet, profit and loss. That's what a very strange play I've written for you takes up next week. Its title, Balance Sheet. It is later than you think. playing music in 26 it was a settlement house i was very young and very small and they gave me an e-flat clarinet america's king of swing benny goodman for music in our schools but i do think to have a knowledge of music does something very important for them even if they don't use it as a profession it gives them a greater outlook on Associated arts, whether it's painting, whether it's sculpture, nature, anything. And to have the pleasure of listening to music all through your life, one of the nicest things that can happen to somebody. But they take advantage of it. Help all our children to take advantage of music. Support music in your schools. A message from the Music Educators National Conference. Matthau and Carol Burnett are Pete and Tilly. How about coming up to my place for a spot of heavy breathing? Honeymoon's over. It's time to get married. Walter Matthau and Carol Burnett, so tender and touching. In a very hilarious way. You're the kind who could go without a bra altogether, let alone folding your arms on top of it like an Indian. I have a feeling like 
Like I'm being stripped for surgery. Walter Matthau and Carol Burnett are Pete and Tilly. Rated PG. See Pete and Tilly, held over at a specially selected theater near you. This is the grown-up sound of today, where you hear the best sounds in radio. WVNJ, 62 AM, Newark.